Hey, what's up questers? With the recent release of Half-Life Alex and the increase in questers trying their hands at playing PC VR games on the Quest, there have been quite a few questions. One such question I get asked a lot is, are there differences in quality between using a virtual desktop and Oculus Link? To start off with, I've used both quite a bit and they both do function very well, but I was curious as well. Does either platform have an advantage over the other from a technical and visual standpoint? Obviously, one is wireless, which to me is a huge advantage, but what about everything else? Does having a cable reduce the latency by a noticeable amount? How do the images compare visually? I took it upon myself to do some testing over the last week, and I came up with some surprising results. Before we get into the testing, though, let me tell you a little bit about my setup. My PC has an Intel i7-8700K processor with 32GB of DDR4 RAM and a 2080 Super. Some of the issues people are having can be due to the PC, but my testing was more about the game experience when the PC is set up properly to run the games. A bit ago I also bought a new router. The cheaper one I was using before was the TP-Link Archer C59 AC1350 which did have a 5GHz band and it worked most of the time. But if anyone was streaming something or even sometimes when they weren't, I'd get some stuttering or in worst case, I would even have to reset everything to get it to work without freezing. And even though latency wasn't super noticeable, it was there on and off, at least especially in scenes with a lot going on. The new one I bought is another TP-Link, but it was the Archer AX3000, which more than doubles the bandwidth for the 5 GHz signal. That alone was a huge upgrade to the experience, and it's worked flawlessly since upgrading. I'll leave a link to the router I'm using in the description if you want to check it out. Also, I did all of my testing in Half-Life Alex for the test since it's the most popular game right now. Okay, so now that you know what's going on from a hardware standpoint, let's finally talk about the testing I did. The first thing I tested was the latency. In order to properly test the latency, I took great care to time my recordings so that they were matched up with each other in real time. One interesting thing to know is that according to Steam VR, the latency of the game running on my PC was actually lower using virtual desktop than it was with Link. That didn't affect my experience due to my PC's specs, but that might be something to keep in mind if you're having an issue with Link. It was actually consistently lower too, no matter what scene I was in. My assumption is that this is because VD is only running Steam SteamVR, while Link has to run both the Oculus Rift platform as well as SteamVR to make it work. That might not make much of a difference, but it's something. While I was testing, I honestly didn't notice any perceivable latency between Link and Virtual Desktop from a latency standpoint. The head tracking was quick and responsive in both, and the hand tracking worked flawlessly. I actually expected at least a slight difference, but I was pleasantly surprised by the results. As I mentioned before though, it was somewhat noticeable at times before upgrading my router, just something to think about. I did test a few other games for latency as well, although I did not record the results and each game was the same, and I was running everything on the highest graphical settings. So when it comes to latency, that seems to me to be a non-issue. This is where it starts to get interesting though. What about visuals? Does one differ from the other? One would be tempted to think that because Link is connected directly to the PC, that it must have a better image, right? Let's find out. Here are a few side-by-side -side recordings of Half-Life Alex. One side is VD and the other is Link. Can you tell which one is which? Can you even see a difference? It's a little harder with the recordings, but let me break it down a little more for you. Let's show a freeze frame. Okay, so out of these two images, which one looks better to you? Left or right? I showed my wife and son these images and the answer was immediate. They both said that the right image looked clearer and more vibrant with more color. Do you see it? Let me zoom in a little more. You can see in the shadows and blacks especially that one image has more gray blacks while the other blacks look more, well, black. It's almost like the saturation has been turned down on the one on the left and the one on the right has the saturation punched up. I really hope you can see it and it's not just me making something out of nothing. It tends to be more noticeable in darker scenes, but it's definitely still noticeable even in other scenes inside of the headset. So which one is which? The more muted colors on the left is actually Oculus Link, while the more vibrant colors and blacker blacks is virtual desktop on the right. To get a true sense of the difference, you would need to see it in the headset, but you can still see the difference in the images. I had heard from a few people that this was the case, but never really paid attention to it myself. Now let me clarify one thing. Oculus Link is still in beta, which means that there is a good possibility that the final release of Oculus Link will look identical, if not better, to what we're getting in VD. I'm not really sure why it's doing what it's doing, but it's consistent across the board from my testing, not just Steam games. Playing Rift games through VD and comparing them to Link has the same result. 
One last note to mention, lately Virtual Desktop has actually been more consistent than Link for quickly and easily jumping into PC VR, at least for me. Even from my living room, which is a floor above my router and PC, I can quickly hop into VR and play Alex with no issues. Hooking up the Quest to Link not only takes the cable, but it is also taking me a couple of resets or tries lately to get Steam VR to work properly. That's not to say it doesn't work, just that I've had a better and more easy experience from VD as of late. So what does that tell us? Well, for me, it just solidifies my recent love of virtual desktop. I've always been a fan of the software, but with the last several updates, it's turned into the killer app on the Quest for those looking to expand to PC VR gaming. Oculus Link, Works great as well, but honestly, for me anyways, there's no reason for me to add a cable that I don't need. So let's recap. Virtual desktop, wireless, check. Link, nope, wired. Virtually no perceivable latency, check for both. Image quality, VD wins that one, at least for now. Ease of use, virtual desktop at the moment. One thing that Oculus Link does win though is ease of setup. Setting up Link is as simple as plugging and playing, while virtual desktop requires some setup time and side loading. But for me, it's well worth the one-time hassle. Also, as far as price goes, virtual desktop is $20 while the Link cable is $79. Yes, you can get an off-brand cable, but the best experience for me has always been with the official cable. What are your thoughts on the matter? I know I personally prefer VD because number one, wireless, and then also the ease of use and current better color rendering. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna get the most out of your quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, if you wanna check out more of my Oculus Quest content, you can find it right there. Thank you so much for watching and happy questing.